So, first things first, last week I overran one of my five minute rule, and as this is a no fight terror inspired video, that means that I must do some form of punishment on camera. So, to get that out of the way, oh, put the suggestions for punishments in the comments below. In your video, Jamie, you asked me the question, what's been my favourite part of the university experience? Um, and I had to think quite hard about that, because there's an awful lot of things about the university experience that I really love. Um, and I think the, my favourite thing about the whole thing is the autonomy that you get, the, the, the freedom. It's simple things like being able to go out for a run whenever you want, or being able to eat whatever food you want, uh, going out with your friends whenever. Like, the, f the fact that you are completely free in this amazing city. I need to think of a question for you. I'll come back to that one later in the video. So, as you might be able to tell, I'm hanging a bit at the moment. I'm absolutely exhausted uh, because this week's been so busy with work. But also because last night I went to this uh, rager which is a new term for me, uh, but apparently it's an American, basically an American frat party. Uh, there's huge numbers of visiting students in Oxford and in St. Peter's there's loads of American visiting students and they threw this huge epic party last night. Uh, probably the best one I've been to in my time at uni. I played beer pong for the first time in my life, but as a consequence, didn't get all of that much sleep. So what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks is the standard stuff, uh, problem sets, uh, like classes, lectures, but I've also had this master's project in the background which is now starting to ramp up in intensity. So my master's project is in the atmospheric physics department and in particular I'm looking at stochastic models of the atmosphere. So there's a thing called uh, ERA Interim which is essentially a huge data set of the entire planet's uh, wind and temperature at different heights and at different latitudes and longitudes. What I'm doing is saying, okay, let's look at a particular point. Let's pretend that we could model this incredibly complicated system by a simple equation. And if it was given by a simple equation, which and the important thing is that it's a stochastic equation and that it involves a random number generator in there somewhere. If it was being governed by that equation, what parameters would you have to plug in to that equation in order to make it work? And uh, you do some very nifty analysis involving the autocorrelation function of the data set, which allows you to determine, firstly, whether you can represent it, you can represent the data set with this simple model, um, and if so, what parameters you want. And that works pretty well for one point, but w what we want to do is do more than one point. Try to see how many points we can string together using this really, really simple stochastic model to represent this, this system, um, and see at what point that just breaks down. And whether that's the whole ocean, whether it's just over somewhere you know, in the region of Micronesia or something like that, we just don't know because nobody's tried it before. So for this week's Oxford specific thing, I'm not travelling very far. In fact, I'm staying right here. I'm going to be taking you to the bewildering world of Oxford student journalism. So Oxford has two student newspapers that are published weekly. You've got the Cherwell and the Oxford Student. Great if you want to go into media. In fact, a really good friend of mine from St Peter's went on uh, from being the editor of the Oxford Student to now working at Sky News. What I love about the, uh, the, the press in Oxford is how varied it is because, you know, you, you have more serious stuff like, for instance, you've got local political news that the university might be involved with. But at the same time, you have an article about Jesus College's tanning team, who is led by that, who are led by that honourable captain, Tan Solo. And there's some interesting stuff in here. Um, even just like investigations about Oxford, so things you wouldn't necessarily know. There's one here in the Chelwell about formal hall prices by college, which incidentally range from £2.20 at Christchurch to £13.25 at Bailey Hill. Definitely not worth it. St Peter's, as you point out, £6.50, very good value. And there's features like you'd expect in any newspaper release. Really. You've got reports on blues sports matches, you've got uh, fashion shoots, which are terrible. Mind you, a physicist, I would say that. Now for the question for you guys in the audience. This is a, an important one, right? This is one that I'd really like to hear back from you. What I want you guys to leave in the comments section is stories that you've heard about Oxford. Uh, things uh, to do with interviews, maybe, to do with the admissions process, to do with life in general at Oxford. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these questions and I'm going to go through them and do a video explaining whether these things are true or not and if they are false, something a bit close to the truth. Right, I really don't want to overrun again because I don't want another punishment. So, Jamie, your question. Where is your favourite place in Oxford? And I want footage of you there explaining why it's your favourite place. Jamie, I'll see you on Thursday.